a lot of hell has broke loose. And whose fault is that? Huh? Whose fault is it? They always say the humans are to blame, but what about the vampires? They should be equally punished as well for this. And besides, human experimentation. Now we have someone like Koreto Haragi roaming the frickin' streets of your world. Get it? Your world, you. And you actually believe that if you brought back everyone back from the dead, you could resurrect so much people you lost. But there's a consequences. There is a difference between using machinery to restore life and to create something that should never have existed. But there is a lot of grief, a lot of pain, regret, darkness, everything else. And let me ask you something. Why do you think we want to restore life from death? Let me ask you, why? Because a lot of people went missing and they are never seen or heard from again. You know what that means? They must be dead by now. They must be buried alive somewhere. Or maybe there's something magical, dark magical about that. You can't trust someone like Koreto Haragi. You can't trust any simple bastard within the Japanese Imperial Army. Shinoa knows that. She knows about everything because she's experienced it. Why do you think she acts like a know-it-all? Why do you think she's doing all of this? Why do you think she sent all of you? Does she hate me? Does she have any reason to? Oh wait, I, I'm the mind reader. I'm supposed to know, but I don't think I want to read minds right now. I'd rather hear it from you. All of you. You think I'm just the pathetic, worthless piece of shit. That's what you are, but it's okay. I was told that I was a piece of shit. Don't you get that? Don't you get it? There is murder and war out there. And you really think I'm going to bow down and beg for you to give me sanctuary. I want sanctuary and justice for those that deserve it. As she kept talking, Barrera and the others were feeling uneasy by her voice. But then they saw infestations who were the supposed statues of the reenactment. However, Barrera and the others managed to took down the monsters. After which, the whole white room was covered in red. And you're probably wondering, you're probably wondering, how do I know this? Maybe I'm experienced. Maybe I know things because, before she could say anything, it stopped. Barrera and the others looked around. That's when Barrera was impaled by her in the shoulder as she let out a cry. Ah! Ah! Because I have experienced. And she kicked down Barrera. She continues to say, I have seen the world, beheld the wonders of them all. From the mountains to the prairies to the ocean, but also within them has a very cruel outlook on life itself. I've seen the eyes of a man. I've seen through his eyes of the torment he suffers. I've seen children being used and abused and taking it from the backside, ruining them. Every single one of them You've experienced such terrible things. A shooting, being tortured against your own will. 
witnessing someone getting killed witnessing maybe more than just one being killed or maybe like maybe suffering because of the fact is daddy never loved me because daddy was nothing more than just an asshole so why aren't you going insane like me why aren't you laughing rosemary screamed she was about to use her powers, but all of a sudden, Barrere used hers first, using it against Rosemary and pinning her to the wall. That's when Barrere said, Because I heard it the first time. I have went insane. I snapped once. And it's not trying to make me laugh. That's when she stepped forward towards Rosemary as she said, I already spoke to Shinoa Haragi. You has as well. And let me tell you something. Despite her experiences of what she's seen as a young child, what she experienced, what the abuse that her family screwed her with, peeling off nails from her fingers, from her toes and everything, she was never loved. She was just another little pet wanting to be abused. 